it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I'm sharing with you some of my French pharmacy faves. Now, you know, I love Korean skincare. That's what really deeply got me into my skincare journey so many years ago. But you know, as the years have progressed and I'm really embracing my sensitive skin, I have found French pharmacy to be incredibly helpful for my skincare journey because they really do focus on, you know, gentle solutions for sensitive skin. And they really focus on skincare that is meant to strengthen your microbiome or your moisture barrier. So, you know, those are all philosophies that really align with my skin philosophies. So today I just want to share with you a handful, actually a big handful of some of my favorites that I've discovered over the years from French pharmacy brands. So if you're so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So we have to kick it off with the classic Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Water. Now, when it comes to French pharmacy, micellar water really is a staple. It is a cleansing solution that's a lot more gentle than, say, a foaming gel cleanser would be because they use gentler surfactants. So it still has the power to like remove makeup and to remove impurities from the skin and really give that nice cleansed feel, but it's just so much more gentle on the skin. And I really do like the sense of bio line from Bioderma because it's completely fragrance free. And you know, I don't like any fragrance in my skincare. So this is the one that I'm grabbing. And I love how refreshing this feels on the skin. Some of my cellar waters seem like kind of filmy on the skin. This doesn't. It actually almost has like a slight hydrating feeling on the skin, which is great. It's really not my go-to for removing makeup. I'm still a oil cleansing girl at heart, but I really do like this for just like light cleansing needs, maybe a little bit of light sunscreen, um, or just like a nice cleanse when I wake up in the morning and I'm feeling a little greasy, I'll reach for this. Next up is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Plus Wash. Now you heard me talk about this a lot because it really is the perfect marriage of like a gel cleanser and a milk cleanser all in one. This really effectively cleans your skin like a gel. It really gets in there and it foams up and it feels like it's really breaking down whatever is on your skin, right? Like excessive oil, maybe like some makeup residue, whatever. Like it really feels like an effective cleanser with some good um, foaming capabilities. But then it's got this moisturizing side to it that almost feels like a gentle, moisturizing, soothing milk cleanser. There is actually shea butter in this cleanser and that may make you think of something really heavy, maybe kind of filmy, a little bit greasy on the skin, but it's not. It's just that perfect balance between an effective clean and like a, a moisturizing, comforting feel. My sensitive skin loves this. And you know, I get a lot of dryness, especially in my U zone. And so this feels really comforting and soothing and so gentle on my skin, but I never feel like Sometimes with the most gentle cleansers, you just don't feel clean. You know what I'm saying? I never have that sensation with this. I always feel clean with this and I always feel like comforted and soothed at the same time. Now, when I don't need moisture from my cleanser, but I just need a straightforward gel cleanser that gets the job done while still being gentle, I'm reaching for the Bioderma Sensa Bio Cleansing Gel. You know, when I say it's a straightforward, almost boring gel cleanser, that's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing in my world, you know? I just just want a cleanser that makes me feel clean, you know, that feels gentle on my skin, that doesn't take one ounce of essential moisture from my skin, that doesn't make it feel dry or tight or stripped. I just want it to do the job. That's what this does with no frills, no fragrance, no essential oils, no drying alcohols, no like fancy plant extracts or anything. It's just really, really straight to the point. And sometimes, especially with sensitive skin, that's exactly what you need. Oh, but the cleansing faves aren't done yet. I have to talk about the Avene Zera Calm AD Lipid Replenishing Oil Cleanser. Now with the K-Beauty world, you may be thinking an oil cleanser is something you put on dry skin to break up makeup and sunscreen and then you follow up with the foaming cleanser. In the French pharmacy world, that's not what this is. <laughs> this is a cleanser that contains oil. This is meant to go on damp skin um, and meant to foam up and everything and cleanse your skin that way, but it's not like the K-Beauty like double cleansing method. So wanted to get that out of the way because if you like you know, K-Beauty, you might get confused because I definitely did at first. But I have to talk about this one because it is actually different than the other cleansers we've talked about so far because this 
moisturizes the skin with oil. It's not like a milk cleanser. There's oil in here. There's primrose oil, which actually has a good omega-6 fatty acid profile. So good for strengthening your moisture barrier and very good when your skin is feeling vulnerable and maybe a little bit damaged. This is actually what's going to help heal up and strengthen your skin. This looks like a liquidy gel cleanser. When you feel it, you will get the oil element. When you put it on your skin, especially if you have dry, irritated skin, you will get that <sighs> sensation like, thank you. Thank you for comforting and soothing me with some beautiful moisture. That's how it feels. Feels so good, so, so soothing, and it rinses away with zero film. No greasiness, like no heaviness. It just leaves your skin feeling like, yeah, just comforted and soothed, but no film. I really, really like this and it's been so helpful. Like I said, when my skin's feeling really vulnerable, this does the trick. So we have to talk about thermal water because you'll see a lot of these French brands will be touting that their products contain thermal water and you're like, isn't that just fancy aqua? Like I'm not impressed. <laughs> um, I definitely used to think like that, um, but as I started to more deeply uh, research into French pharmacy and really understand thermal water, I started to get really excited about it. Um, it is supercharged water. There are a lot of vitamins and minerals in thermal water that support healthy skin. But even more than that, they're finding that the, um, the elements of thermal water actually support a healthy skin microbiome. So when you have a healthy microbiome, you're going to more likely have a healthy functioning moisture barrier. And they are seeing a link between, you know, uh, maybe not so healthy of a microbiome and links between psoriasis eczema, rosacea. So everything is all linked. Supporting your skin microbiome sounds kind of silly, but the research is really backing this up. And that's why you're seeing thermal water, um, especially in these French pharmacy products that are targeted towards eczema or super duper sensitive skin that needs healing and regenerating. You're gonna see thermal water being one of the main ingredients in there. You know, my longtime favorite is from La Roche-Posay, the thermal spring water. Um, but I also uh, recently started using the one from Avene and I like that one almost equally as well. I think either one is really good. So I couldn't make this video without talking talking about my longtime fave, Bioderma Sensibio mask. You know, I'm always talking about it, I'm always recommending it, and I always have it on hand. This is one of those like um, skincare staples for me that like I will always restock because it benefits my skin so, so much. And I say this all the time, but like it looks so boring. I did not expect much from it when I first tried it. I was like, I don't think this is gonna do anything for my skin. It looks so boring. The ingredients, when I look at it, nothing really pops out at me. But when I first put it on my skin, I was getting that immediate soothing sensation. This is so good if you do have sensitive skin that's easily irritated or if you do experience a lot of redness on your skin, this really helps. It's got this nice um, non-greasy, non-oily, uh, moisturizing kind of cream texture. And um, it just kind of like infuses with your skin as it sits on your skin about 10 minutes. It really just infuses your skin with that comforting, soothing moisture. And there's something else to this. I couldn't really put my finger on it at first, but it really just calms irritation in a very gentle way. And it just leaves your skin gently moisturized when you wash it off and just a lot more calm. So whenever I have irritation, I grab this for this and it really just does the trick as i got more familiar with the product as i looked more into the ingredients as i spent a little bit more time with it i realized i think the hero here is a um, ingredient that's derived from licorice root now this is kind of where like the the french pharmacy and the kbd worlds kind of start to collide a little bit because you are probably already familiar with licorice root from kbd products it's actually one of those um real traditional ingredients in asian skincare that have been used for so 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 many years it's often touted for its brightening properties, but it also has a soothing effect on skin. It's got an anti-inflammation benefit that's very, very strong for the skin. And that's, I think, what the secret sauce is in this mask. I couldn't quite put my finger on it because it's not just moisture. There's something that is really calming inflammation on the skin, and it's got to be the licorice root derivative. Next up is the Bioderma Atoderm Shower Oil. And this is actually pretty similar to the Aviv 
Clean Zero Calm Lipid Replenishing Cleanser. The difference here though is that this one from Bioderma actually does contain some fragrance. I do believe the artificial fragrance they're using has been rigorously tested on sensitive skin and has been tested for potential irritancy because this is a product that is geared towards sensitive skin. Um, so there is fragrance here. I feel okay with it, especially because I really only use this product on my body. Um, and that may be how you want to use it too, but do know that it is a face and body product. So I love this shower side because my body skin can be very, very classically dry. And sometimes it even gets uh, quite itchy from the dryness. So I do try to make sure that I'm like really well moisturized outside of the shower. Definitely. And we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second, but inside of the shower, I can start my moisturizing routine and it really helps to calm down that itchy uh, feeling with dry skin. So I love this because it just like imparts that little bit of non-greasy moisture into your skin, it just kind of like infuses your skin with that hit of moisture that really just makes it like calm down and makes your skin so silky soft too. But I really like this after I've shaved my legs because no matter what I do, no matter how good I prep my like legs and how sharp and fresh my razor is, I always just get a little bit of irritation, a little itchy sensation after shaving my legs. So I immediately use a pump of this all over my leg and it just like, it calms down like that. It's like really special. So I love that because not only am I getting that, that irritation relief immediately, but then I'm also not getting like those like red raised bumps on my legs either from the irritation. I'm not getting like that ashy look either because I'm getting a little bit of moisture inside the shower. And then I follow up with a moisturizer. Speaking of moisturizing the body outside of the shower, La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Plus Balm, OMG. Actually, this is the product that started my love of French pharmacy many years ago. I was on a trip in Italy. So emergency, I like go into this uh, pharmacy in Ferrara in Italy. And I was just like, I have really dry skin. Can you please help me? Um, and the woman there was so nice and she she found this lotion. She, she recommended it and I was like, whatever, I'll buy it, whatever you say. And this just solved my problem. Like it just worked so good. Thank you. I fell so deeply in love with it that when I got back home in the States, this is actually way back when La Roche-Posay was not easily accessible in the States. That has changed in the last couple of years, but I'm talking about like 2014. Um, I could not find it. Um, I had to buy it online and it was like price gouged. It was so expensive, but I paid for it because it was that good. And then it fell out of my routine because it was too expensive. Um, but then La Roche-Posay like really made it big in the States and now it's like accessible. I just go down the street and I can get it. It's awesome. Um, so anyways, this is such a good moisturizer for my very dry body skin. It is so buttery. It's rich, but it's, it's not oily. Um, and it's just very like occlusive and protective and moisturizing. It leaves your skin so soft and it just feels so good. It's such a high quality product. Um, and my, my body skin just loves it so much. Now I keep saying my body skin, it is actually a face and body product. If you have very dry skin, like classically dry skin on your face, you will like this because it's thick and rich. It uses niacinamide, shea butter, um, and it's got a really good amount of occlusivity to it, um, which I think feels really great when you have very dry skin. I have dry combination skin, so it actually overwhelms certain parts of my face. It's not quite right, but I know like in the very dead of winter when my skin is at its driest, I'll use a little bit of this and it does bring so much relief. So like I can really say it works so well for very dry skin, face, body, however you want to use it. It. Mwah, chef's kiss. I love this. All right, let's talk about the Avene Solaire Mineral Multi Defense Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 and it is water resistant. This is a mineral sunscreen using 12% of zinc oxide. And I'm not even usually a big fan of mineral sunscreens, but like I'm a fan of this one um, for a couple of reasons. It's got this really beautiful, like milk liquidy sunscreen texture that I think just really melts into the skin beautifully. You don't have to really like work it like really hard into your skin. You know, sometimes mineral sunscreens are kind of hard to work into your skin. This one is not. The white cast here is so minimal. On my skin tone, it's like almost 
like non-detectable. Um, if you are a little bit more blessed with melanin than I am, there is a tinted version um, that kind of helps to neutralize the white cast. Um, but I didn't find the tinted version to be necessary on, on my skin tone. So I love that the, the white cast is just so, so mineral minimal. I love that it doesn't build up in my eyebrows. It's not like clumpy and chunky. Um, I just think the texture is so, so nice. And this is so sweat resistant, which is what I love this for, um, especially as the temperatures are starting to get warmer and more humid and I'm just sweating more. I need a sunscreen that's going to stand up to that sweat. And I just feel like this is it while still being really gentle on your skin. It's loaded with antioxidants, which provide a little bit more protection from UV. Um, it's got like, yeah, yeah, really great texture, a lack of white cast. It doesn't pill. It works super good underneath makeup. I had no problems with this whatsoever. It's a little bit drying, but it's okay. Like it's a trade-off I'm willing to make, you know what I mean? For all the other stuff for that sweat resistance, a little bit drying, not too bad. And it doesn't contain any fragrances uh, or even any drying alcohol, which I think is great. So I also really enjoy the La Roche Posay Melt in Milk Sunscreen SPF 60. Now this actually does contain some denatured alcohol, but that's okay for me because I actually just put it on my body. My face can't tolerate uh, denatured alcohol, unfortunately, um, because denatured alcohol in sunscreen plays a really good role in helping with the absorption and the dry time of sunscreen. So I actually generally prefer a body sunscreen with a little bit of alcohol in it because it really does help with that dry time. So I like this one because it like sinks into my skin like immediately. It's got a little bit more of that creamy lotion-y type of texture and it does actually moisturize my skin just a little bit which like like I said I have dry body skin so I'll take it. Um, but I really like this one. It's a slight, slightly bigger. Why are sunscreens always so small? Slightly bigger tube. Um, this is meant for face and body if you wanted to use it that way, which I think can be very handy. So let's talk about the Avene Zero Calm AD Lipid Replenishing Cream. Now this is actually really similar to the oil cleanser that we talked about at the beginning of the video. The main ingredient here is primrose oil, which has a really good omega-6 fatty acid profile. And omega-6 fatty acids are incredibly good at um, helping your skin moisture barrier, your lip layer like the name suggests this really does replenish the lipids in your barrier helping it to um, fight dehydration a lot better and helping it to defend your skin from outside um, pollution or bacteria it just strengthens up your skin overall you know I'm always looking for barrier care there's different ways to approach it um, but this is definitely you know an ingredient that um, definitely can help with your moisture barrier and I was really impressed with the texture of this. Um, this is the cream version. I do believe there is a thicker balm version out there, but this cream version I think is just right for my skin, which is combination. We've got oily areas. We've got dry areas. It can be quite imbalanced, but sometimes the really, really thick creams actually overwhelm my skin. It's such a fine line and it, it can be quite frustrating, honestly, but you know what? You just roll with it. And this rolls with my skin nicely because it's actually it almost reminds me of like a, a like a whipped lotion type of texture. It's not even as hefty as like a cream texture. It's a little bit lighter, but it actually packs a punch. So um, yeah, it's almost like whipped and airy. Um, it feels very luxurious on the skin as you work it in. You can feel this nice like light richness. It's not like overloaded with like an oily, greasy feel, but there's a richness to it that feels so moisturizing and so comforting. So this is not only kind of like comforting and soothing your skin, but it's kind of getting in there, repairing the barrier, but also creating that slightly like temporary barrier on your skin so that as your skin heals, you're not um, allowing as much hydration to escape from the skin. That occlusive element is really important for fighting dehydration. And this, for being a lighter cream, actually has a good amount of it. It's really nice. Now, if you're prone to itchy, irritated skin, you have to check out the La Roche-Posay Eczema Cream. This um, uses the La Roche-Posay, what I call like their signature formula, which is niacinamide, thermal water, and shea butter, but it also has 1% of colloidal oatmeal. And this is a secret sauce for itchy skin. 
you know because sometimes like you get irritated skin it's not itchy but when your skin is itchy and irritated it will drive you nuts right like it's just like it's all you can think about and you really want to scratch at it um, but that's not you know that that's really bad so even if you don't experience um, eczema flare-ups but you just get kind of itchy skin this will actually help you if you do get eczema um, which I occasionally do this will also help you because you know how annoying the itch can be that colloidal oatmeal just really soothes and brings a lot of relief to that itchy feeling on the skin this is a little bit of a thicker textured um, got moisturizing cream but it's not super duper heavy it's more medium weight um, and it really does like bring that moisture that repairing niacinamide all those great um, vitamins and minerals in the thermal water and the colloidal oatmeal in this really like comforting soothing texture that's not greasy on the skin and it's not super duper occlusive either there's a there's a little bit but not a ton and so I think this will suit a good majority of skin types even if you're just putting it on an eczema patch or just an area of itchiness it feels so so good but if you're experiencing major irritation on your skin like SOS I need soothing immediately on contact La Roche-Posay Cica Plus Balm is what you need. I'm always raving about this. I know so many of you love it too. This soothes the skin immediately like it's intense like soothing it feels so good on highly irritated skin. Wow. The secret here is madacasticide. Again, we're like K-Beauty and the French pharmacy world kind of flirt with each other. Madacasticide is one of the active compounds in the centella plant, which is really responsible for its soothing and healing benefits. So we have madacasticide with panthenol, really good for your moisture barrier. It's a great humectant um, and it really helps to strengthen your skin. There's a couple of other elements in here that really helps you repair damaged skin and really facilitate wound healing as well. This is really like a repairing and healing cream with a heavy dose of anti-irritation, like fast, immediate relief. Oh, this feels so good on irritated skin. And this is really um, kind of like how we think of Sika creams in K-Beauty, something that you want to use um, in any areas of irritation, on pimples, on bug bites, on razor burn, um, anywhere that you're feeling a little bit of irritation and need relief, this is where you can use it. It's multi-purpose. I even use this sometimes on chapped lips. It feels so, so good. And something I've actually been doing um, recently is uh, just mixing a dollop of this into another moisturizer and just doing like a supercharged like anti-irritation cream. Um, it adds a little bit more occlusivity and a little bit more moisture to whatever I'm mixing it into, but it gives that like <sighs> soothing sensation. It feels so good. I was going through quite a bout of irritation just a few weeks ago and this really just like calmed down the redness, calmed down the irritation so, so fast. It's incredibly reliable and um, it's a classic. You know what I mean? Like people like hype this up a lot. It's hype and classic for a reason. Now another anti-irritation cream with a slightly different flavor than the La Roche-Posay is the Avene Sea Calfate Cream. Now in um, this particular cream and in European and in French pharmacy brands, Sika doesn't automatically equal Centella, like it does in K-Beauty. You know, the Korean skincare world actually uh, took the term Sika um, and kind of put their flavor on it. And now Sika, especially in K-Beauty, does refer to Centella. And that term has really kind of taken over um, more than just the K-Beauty world. But it is important to understand that, like, especially in the European brands, Sika creams were actually developed to help patients post-surgery, to help them with scars and to help them with uh, wound healing and um, skin repair. So in in the European brand, Sika just means like a repairing or a healing cream, but it doesn't necessarily refer to the ingredient Centella. In the La Roche-Posay cream, we do have madacasticide, so that kind of lines up with what we know for, for Sika. But you may be looking at the ingredients list of the Avene and be like, where's the Sika? This is false advertising. It's not it's just coming from a different tradition when you put this on your skin you're not going to get that immediate like um like anti-irritation relief you know what i mean it's not going to like get in there and just like soothe you with this like really strong like kind of calming sensation it really more um kind of approaches anti-irritation with like moisture protective comforting feel on the skin it's a very thick cream really targeted towards dry skin types definitely because it is like quite thick and very occlusive but it really really just like 
any area that feels vulnerable, it just hugs it and protects it. And that's where the soothing and comforting feel comes from. It's just how well it's covering and, and filling and, and soothing that area with moisture, non-greasy moisture, but like that, that really good occlusive balancing feel on the skin. The ingredients list is really minimal. Um, we definitely do have that focus on thermal water and the microbiome. And then we do have some ingredients um, somewhat similar to the La Roche Posay that help to facilitate wound healing. And that's really what this is about. It's really about repairing damaged skin. Wow, that was so many products. But I hope you guys enjoyed that like little odyssey through some of my favorites from French pharmacy brands. I know there's still so much more to discover. Um, and honestly, the more like the deeper I go with French pharmacy, the more my love grows for it and the more my sensitive skin thanks me. So if you have any French pharmacy faves, whether they were in the video or not, let me know in the comment box below. Now, if you made it this far in the video, but you have not hit subscribe, but you're liking the vibe of this video, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I do release a lot of new skincare content just like this video, so do consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.